Hey team, so we just finished our intense 10 minute home workout. I figured I'm gonna stretch, but if you guys wanna stretch with me, you're more than welcome. So here we go, just something very basic today. I'm not gonna do anything complicated. Roll those shoulders back and just love the shoulders for a moment. And then forward, and really just focus on simple, basic stretches. With stretch, so don't just kinda hang out. You wanna pull those arms apart and pull that chest up nice and high. Breathe in and out. Stretch up, side, and down, because your muscles move in every angle, so you want to stretch it in every angle. Just opening up my upper To go down and just stretch my back, so you want to like elongate your spine and your neck, drop that shoulder and just push up against that leg, turn that chin and chest up, feel good, breathe in, and up. Always deep breath. Inhale, and then exhale, drop the other shoulder again. Keep the spine nice and long, neck nice and long. You have to be very deliberate when you're stretching properly. So do a little bit of lateral flexion. You could do that too. Reaching, reaching, right? Notice I'm not doing this. I'm, and creating that, that tension and lengthening my body. You don't want to lose height, right? Over time, you start to shrivel down and lose some height if you don't stretch. <laughs> Okay, let's go right into hip flexor. So important because we sit so much, so this gets really tight. And press up against here for some support. Reach up nice and high, reach over. So you get a little nice stretch lateral flexion. If this gets tight, this starts to get tight and then it runs up your head and then your neck hurts and everything hurts. So stretch that, stretch back. If you feel safe, of course you have to press up against here to get some help. If you feel safe, go back both arms, breathe in, breathe out, okay, just driving the hip forward, squeezing the glute, make sure you open up that chest, feeling great, you want to open this up because we're always hunched over from sitting or texting or driving or you name it, and when that gets tight, your traps get tight, so your chest, open it, you release that trap, tighten this back here. This is hamstring stretch. Something simple like this is good. If you need books, just hold on to some, stack up some books, or maybe have a stool here to help you. You know, give a little movement side to side because your hamstrings move in every angle, so you want to do every angle. Okay, back and forth, bring that chest forward. Stay with the other side. Again, drive those hips forward, flex that butt cheek, make sure you flex that butt cheek, drive the hips forward, flex that butt cheek. Again, press up against it nice and strong, reach up and reach over, okay? Feel that pull right here to the side, inhale and exhale. Come back in, reach back. If you feel good and safe, both hands reach up to the heavens. Make sure your spine and neck is always long. You end up looking the way you stretch, so you don't want to stretch all like shriveled up. You want to stretch long, strong. Opening up the chest to alleviate all that tightness in your traps. Okay, breathing in. Lots of deep breath because you're ironing out that wrinkle, right? Because your body's tight, stiff, glue-like. So when you stretch, you open up these spaces that otherwise would be wrinkled up and tight. So no oxygen can go in there. No oxygen means you end up getting weak. So when you stretch, you want to breathe. Send all that powerful oxygen there. So we can flow through those tight spaces, send it nutrients. That's how you stay strong, guys. Hips are so important. Your hips are connected to your shoulder. So if you have a shoulder problem or tightness, chances are, chances are you have a hip problem because they're connected, right? So you go, make sure you drive that hip forward, feel that movement, really feeling if you can move your hips because you should be able to move them, okay? You can even reach up hands behind you and just push that hip forward open up everything in the front inhale exhale come down slow other side same thing hands behind you strong long neck long spine push that hip forward reach up inhale and reach reach exhale and you can also work your back so reach up again long strong elbow next to the knee. I'm going to turn this way so you can see me. And if you feel good there, go for it. Really reach 
and feel that stretch in your back and in your hips. <sighs> Feels so good. Okay, always breathing. Your stretch is only as good as your breath. So make sure you're, if you feel good, elbows on the floor, then great. Keep it long and strong again. And reaching, oh, fingertips reaching nice and long. We'll stretch those fingers too. Okay, inhale, exhale. If you do this often, you're gonna be able to move so well. You'll feel so good. And thread the needle, okay? You're just gonna go, put your hands right here, thread that needle, and really reach, press down, press down. You're gonna be deliberate to get that nice stretch in your back, okay? I'm gonna do this so you can see me. Let's start out here so we can do a little turn, chin chest up, bring it a little closer, chin chest up, bring it a little closer, chin chest and up. Again, long spine, long neck, long and strong, guys. That's my model, long and strong. I'm gonna show you, so I'm gonna turn myself so you can see. Put it away over here, hands, thread the needle. This is so good for your back, your shoulder, and your hip. Turn that chin and chest up. Inhale first, and then exhale. Bring that hand a little closer, inhale, and reaching, exhale. Again, one more time, bring it a little closer, inhale, and exhale. And you're only as strong as your weakest link, so you wanna make sure there's no weak parts in your body. Everything's strong. So that was thread the needle. Then you can go right into frogs, these are so good. So after you thread the needle, you come in, you can just go into frogs, okay? Walk forward, open up the leg, kind of just go back and forth, open up the groin, all right, you guys? If it gets tight, everything goes. Your back gets tight too, okay? So enjoy yourself down here a little bit. Just hang out there for 30 seconds, okay? Breathing the whole time, and then come back in. Bring your legs in. So you can also do this, bringing the legs up to the side. So now you're stretching the inner thigh right here. Okay, you can do that as well. Switch it up, you can go back and forth. Quick butt stretch. This is one of my favorites, so simple. Many ways to do a butt stretch, but this is just one of them. Figure four, right? See this? And just put the hand between and pull it to your chest. Okay, make sure you pull it to your chest and try not to curl your hips up. Press that hip back and down. Form is everything. Inhale. As you exhale, you pull it in. Feel that glute stretch. This is so good for your lower back and your glute. Breathing again, inhale. And then pulling it in and holding, exhale. Ankle flex. Figure four. Pull it in. <laughs> Hands between your legs. Pull it in. Okay, and if you're not very flexible, you could just do this. And that's fine too. You could just pull it in like this. Okay? Inhale and pull it in, exhale. Then one more stretch for your hip and back. You can pull this in. You can even hug it. Feel the hip flexor here. Just gently dropping, drop, drop, drop. Reaching this other arm way back over here. Feel that stretch in your hip and your back. Keep your neck long, chin over your shoulder. Make sure you're reaching like you're trying to touch somebody. Don't just rest there because you're not creating tension, you're not stretching. You gotta create that stretch tension, right? Feel uncomfortable a little bit. Not pain, just a little discomfort is perfect. Pull it in, same thing. You pull this knee in, hug it, give it some love, maybe even stretch your ankles, you know, count your clock, breathing. Do that for about 30 seconds, you know? We don't give our ankle enough love, and we're on our ankles all the time. Okay, dropping, again, reaching, neck long, long and strong. You look the way you, you stretch, so you want to stretch strong. Inhale, and reaching, exhale, pressing down. Feels amazing. You can slowly bring it back in. Okay, maybe hug yourself. And your neck. A lot of people ask about neck. So neck is easy. You can always just put your hands behind your back and then just feel that stretch. Inhale first and then rolling, exhale to the other side. Again, you can put your hands out here. Every time you shift your arms around, you change the stretch just a little bit. Oh, I just got a little crack right there. Feels good. You can even hold on to a water bottle because that pressure gives it more of a stretch. All right? That's how you stretch your neck. There's many ways. That's just one way. All right? I hope you guys enjoy the stretches. Very important to thank your body and nurture it. Don't just use it and burn it and work it. And that's say sayonara. You're supposed to say thank you. All right? Enjoy the stretches.